But then we went home the next day and I felt fine. I really the really the hardest thing in all of this was and kind of still is that I could only sleep on my back. Like now one month post up, I will say that I can really I can sleep on my sides a little bit. But not like fully. Like I usually would sleep like half on my side, half on my stomach. So not being able to do that has been the toughest part. But that's like it. Like I really haven't had that much pain. It has been like they were more like tight. And I'll say like right now, one month, one month post up, they are still a little bit tight, but really nothing compared to when I you know, first get them done. So right now I am wearing a special bra and I got that on right after my operation and I have to wear that for two months and then I can take it off and then I can start like exercising again. So, um, but I have had my bandages off now. I got them off a week ago, which is definitely nice because they were really like itchy. <laughs> and I will say my skin now is still a little bit like red because of all the like bandages, but it's going to be fine um, and they are not as swollen anymore but they look great I think it's going to be the perfect size for me so this is my boobs now without any bra other than this one that I am I have to wear for the few months but you know there's no padding in this at all so there's definitely a difference <laughs> obviously so yeah just like that because really going in you know and I talked about this in my first video as well I I was scared that they're going to be too small and I was scared that they were going to be too big because I am more petite and I definitely don't want the look where if you didn't know that I had had my boobs done you would be like oh she totally had her boobs done like I didn't want it to be like that but at the same time I didn't want to you know, go through this operation, like spending that much money, going, you know, through all those risks and then come out with like nothing pretty much. So, but as of right now, I feel like they are going to be perfect and the perfect size for me. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And I'm really grateful for that. You know, I haven't had that much pain and I have had no nausea of any kind. It's just been the like greatest thing and I do have a high pain tolerance to begin with like I talked with my grandma the other day about this actually she was like well I have a high pain tolerance as well and know a few people in our family do so um that's probably why so that's definitely nice um because I know a lot of people like I told the Danish guy when we were there you know I was like I feel fine I don't really feel that much pain and he was like well, that's awesome, but you know, then there will also be people who will say the exact opposite. Like they will feel like they're going to die and they just want to take all the pain kills that they can. So, I mean, we're all different in that aspect. So, and we all heal different, but I will say that the scars are really healing up pretty well. I will say, um, I mean, it's only been one month, so they're obviously still like pretty miserable, but really they are not that bad. I. I'm really pleased with it. I've been, after I took my bandages off a week ago, I've just been kind of like moisturizing my boobs and scars with organic coconut oil. And I think that's really going to help them. And it also helps with itching because wearing this um, bra 24 seven other than when I'm showering, it's, it's not, you know, it's obviously keeping your skin from getting like some breathing and some fresh air. <laughs> Oh yeah, some tips for if you are going to have your boobs done for like afterwards, I will say get a heating pillow or something like that for when you're sleeping. That definitely saved me a lot because the first, I will say like, especially the first week, um, it was just really tough to sleep on my back because I'm not used to it. So that was really nice that I had that one. But also... You know, be sure to surround yourself with people who will really care for you, who will really help you out with this. I spent the first two weeks with my parents at my parents' house and they were all great at helping me. Like my mom helped me wash my hair and um, like it was just really nice. And they helped me like put my jacket on and my 
my um, two sisters, they are not that old. They're only like 9 and 11. And they were like kind of getting annoyed at me because they were like, oh, you can't get your jacket on yourself. Um, and I was like, you know, if I was sitting in the couch and like leaning back, I was like, oh, can you can you get me my glass of water? And they were like, oh. but really, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I just think they, they don't really get it. Like, obviously, because they're 9 and 11, they're like, I don't get why you want to get your boobs done. Like, I don't want to get my boobs done when I have boobs. It's like, okay, you don't have to. Um, I mean, obviously, if I didn't, you know, go through that, that would have been the best. But, you know, I, I wanted to do this for so long that I don't regret it at all. I am just so excited for the day that I can take this off and like really start to get to see the result and, you know, start going out buying bras. That's probably the thing that I'm most excited for. I mean, it is going to be a little while because they are not, you know, when I'm taking this like bra that I'm wearing right now, the special bra in, um, in a month, so, so two months post up, they are obviously still, you know, not fully healed or anything, but I, around my 24th birthday in April, they will be, you know, then they will be six months post off. So that's the time where I can really start to tell, okay, they're probably not going to change that much anymore. So I'm really excited about that. I am just so happy that it has all gone so well, um, that there has been no issues at all. I, I just feel like just the entire experience, like the crew there, like the surgeon, the nurses, the anesthetologist, the you know bed and breakfast we stayed in, like everybody was just so nice and informative, and it has just been a really good experience. So I would definitely recommend the place. Like they also do a ton of different. Um, surgeries and treatments so and my mom she was actually kind of funny because I got a folder from them um, where they showed like you know what other things you could have done like they showed the boob jet the mommy makeover the you know the facelift and all these things she was like oh yeah I'm taking that I'm like do you want to get something then do you want to get something then she's like nah it's from my friends I know I have some friends who wants to get something done, I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> um, I I feel like my mom is probably more scared than me because she was like, I don't really get why you want to get it done in another country. Like, why don't you just want to get it done in Denmark? And even though I tell her, you know, just because of the research I've done, I just feel like this is the best place for me personally. Um, she was still kind of like skeptical about it. And also like the size, she was like, so what size did you decide on? Um, with the surgeon, I was like 316. She was like, that sounds like a lot. Um, and what size uh, would that be in a bra? I'm like, probably a small D. And she was like, if it was me who was, you, who was going to get a boob job, I wouldn't go like more than a C. She's also a B like, like I was. Um, a little bigger B than me, but still like, um, <laughs> I was like, well, then it's great that it's not you who's going on the surgery because we're a different mom. <laughs> she was like, yeah. I just think it was the whole like, oh no, my little girl is going on the surgery and what if she's, you know, thinking it's going to be too big or anything like that. But as I told her, like most people after getting this surgery, they will say that they went too small. So I really want to go bigger than I will really think that I need. And then, you know, don't have to regret that and don't have to spend the money. Oh, I want to tell you, um, I paid 25,000 Danish crowns for this surgery. So it really is one of the cheaper ones out there. That's not the, like the reason why I chose this place. I mean, I'm not going to sit here saying that it is nice that it didn't cost me double the amount of that because it could. Um, but, um, and also because I'm a student, it's nice that I didn't have to spend more on that. But I will say that if I had to pay double the amount for a place that I felt was the best one for me, I would have done it. Like, these things, you don't want to go for like the cheapest option. You really want to go somewhere where you're like, I feel like these 
people are the best. I feel this place is just the best one for me. And again, we're all different. Like some people, you know, would go to clinics in Denmark. I'm not saying that Denmark doesn't have great clinics. I just say that for me personally, the look that I want and the research I've done, I found this place to be the best. How I feel now, like one month post up, what do I feel now? A, I feel great. I still feel like it's still like a little tight and my nipples are still a little bit sensitive, especially now that it has been really cold outside, I will say. Um, but that's really the only thing I can do pretty much like I can wash my own hair. I, can, I really, I try not to have my arms over my head too much just because, you know, I still have the scars and all that. Um, but really, I can do pretty much anything. I can put on my jacket myself, obviously, so that's a good thing. Um, and pain-wise, it's really... Sometimes I forget I have to have them done, but I was actually, I took one of my old bras one day just to see the difference. I was like, holy moly ravioli, like, did I used to be that small? Because really now, I don't think they, you know, look that big. I mean, they are big. It's not like that, but you know, it was, I'm just like, well, they look like natural and everybody I have, you know, been showed them to like my mom and my grandma and my, and my dad, my dad is kind of funny. He's like, oh yeah, I can definitely tell that you have some, have something done, but it still looks natural in you. And he has been kind of like, um, so what about, you know, breastfeeding and all that? And I was like, in most cases, you will still be able to breastfeed, especially when it's not going through your nipples, which I just... Be like I don't know there's just something about that I find kind of scary <laughs> I don't know um but what was I about oh yeah how I feel now so I feel great and I you know as I mentioned I feel like with the size and everything and the type of implant that it will be the perfect size for me I don't think that I've gone too small or too big so like that was the point like I didn't want I obviously wanted to go big so I wouldn't have to wear push-up bras every day or anything like that. But at the same time, and I told this to my surgeon also, that at the same time, I still want to be able to wear a, you know, dress or a top that has like, you know, a clear bag, like, you know, where you can't really wear a bra without telling. Um, I still want to be able to wear that without having to wear I a bra. I don't want them to be that big I, where I need to wear a bra or where I can't fit in most, most of my clothing. Like obviously there's a few things that I can't wear anymore, but really the majority of my clothing I can. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know it was quite long, um, but um, I hope you got some information out of this. And please, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And, you know, tell me, like, if you have had yours done or if you're going to get them done or if plastic surgery is just not your thing. Because I know some people, they're like, no, I'm so against plastic surgery. And that's fine because we're all different. Um, so, yeah, as I mentioned in my first video, you know, if you are, like, super, yeah, plastic surgery all the way, um, you know, great. And if you're not, if you're super anti-plastic surgery, great. Like, we're all different. Don't. Don't judge other people for doing what they want to do. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will I will do more post up. I don't know when I'll do the next post up, but um, we'll see. I kind of have to, you know, I think we'll just come to play around with it. But um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!